sandal slide, flip flop, whatever you wanna call it. Hey guys, it's Tamika Lynn. I hope you're having a fabulous week. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, I do appreciate the support. Over here, I love to talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I absolutely love handbags. I do a lot of handbag reviews. I just love all things girly. So if those are things that interest you, I would love for you to hit that little subscribe button down below. While you're at it, also hit that bell notification so that you're aware every time I upload a new video. So let's get into today's video. So a few months ago, Louis Vuitton released a brand new flat mule. Um, it was called the Isola. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but very beautiful shoe and I'll insert a photo. This was a completely brand new release for Louis Vuitton. So I was very, very excited. I popped in the store. Um, I want to say this was maybe back in April or May. I can't remember, but it was definitely several months ago. Um, while I was downtown one day, I popped in the store to try on a pair because they had just been released and I was super excited. I was hoping to score a pair of um, them in the color cognac because it would match a bag that I had. Um, so I stopped in the store, um, met a new CA, we were talking. Um, somehow or another, our conversation led to Italy and I was telling him how my family and I had spent several years in Europe, blah, 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 come to find out he was Italian. He suggested all these cool restaurants downtown. I mean, just a very lovely conversation. That's normally how it is with me. I'm very talkative. So <laughs> normally I don't meet a person that, you know, I can't have a conversation with. But anyway, so we're just talking, talking, talking. He goes to the back, brings out the shoe. And I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. I thought it was a, a very beautiful shoe. Kind of puts you in the mind of um, a pair of Hermes sandals. But I mean, you know, Louis Vuitton, new release. It is what it is. So I tried them on and I was quite disappointed. I didn't like the way they fit on my feet. Um, I don't know if they were too narrow. I just, I didn't like the way they looked. Um, and to spend that amount of money on a pair of sandals that I just, I wasn't in love with, I was like, absolutely not. So at the time I told him, I'll just wait, you know, for um, the next release of something that I like to come out and I'll stop back by. If I like them, I'll order them then. But yeah, these were going to be a no for me. But um, he was totally cool with it. Very, very nice guy. I enjoyed the conversation. But I left empty handed that day. So in the back of my mind, I had um, these thoughts like, gosh, I would love a pair of sandals to go with this purse. And so I was on um, vacation a couple of weeks ago and I popped into the Tory Burch store and I had an aha moment. <laughs> Um, if you know me, you know I love Tory Burch. I love Louis Vuitton, but I I I'll, I also love uh, Tory Burch. I have several Tory Burch bags. I love Miller sandals. Um, so those like I'll always love those. So, anyways, I walk in Tory Burch and I see on display a pair of Millers that I don't have in my collection. They match the bag perfectly. So without any further ado, let me show you my new sandals bag. You know, their lime green logo. Absolutely love their bag. Um, I've always loved their packaging. It's just so fun. Um, yeah, I just, I love their packaging. But anyhow, I picked up, as I told you guys, a pair of Millers. Um, let's see, when did I buy these? July 9th. So it's now uh, a month later. <laughs> Um, just now getting around to this unboxing kind of late, but here we are today. But anyway, so here's the box and they, uh, include this little clear rubber band type thing on all of their shoes. I don't know why, but they do. Maybe it helps with their stock room. I'm not sure. But anyways, these are in the color bourbon. If you could see that. And I did get these in a size nine and a half. Usually with Miller's, um, I size up. I'm normally a nine, but I like to um, size up in my sandals. So in the box, there was, you know, of course, the Tory Burch dust bag, and it, it does match the bag. And then we have the box, we have a pair of beautiful Miller sandals. 
Now, although these are called bourbon, to me, they're a very close match to cognac, which is why I said, oh, I gotta have this. <laughs> so if you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that last year I unboxed the Loop Hobo GM bag, also infamously known as the Marquita Loop GM bag. But anyways, these shoes are a very, very good match to that bag. And I will show you. So as you can see, hide my face a little bit, but they are like an awesome match. Um, not exact, but I mean, very, very close. I thought these shoes would look very good with this bag. I can see me with like a tank top with some ripped jeans, my slides and my hobo bag. So I absolutely had to have these and I'm really glad I did. I mean, I saved several hundred dollars <laughs> by going to Tory Burch and not buying those original LV slides that I wanted. But also these are tried and true. I love Millers. I have several pair of Millers. Um, they're such um, comfortable slides or sandals. I don't know whatever pronunciation you use, but I absolutely love Millers. So I am happy to have another pair in my collection and I'm super excited to have something that coordinates or or matches I'm happy to have something that goes um, so lovely with my Loop GM bag. And I, I do have the bag stuff just to show you guys, but yeah, I'm super excited for this pairing. So Tory Burch never steers me wrong and I'm happy that I decided to walk in the store that day and I saw these on display so that I could put them in my collection. So yeah, so guys, I also want to provide an update on my bomb Diaz. So about a month ago, I unboxed the new version of the LV bomb Dia flat comfort mules on my channel. And I had several comments asking me different questions. So I thought I could just throw in a little quick update for you guys. I still haven't worn the shoes yet, but I have worn them around the house um, when I decided to keep them. So I'm going to give you my first impressions. So these shoes, they definitely run small. So you definitely need to size up. I've had a few people ask me if, um, so as you see, the strap is Velcro. I've had a couple of people ask me if the strap like touches the ground and it definitely would depending on how tight you wear the shoe. So like say for instance, if you pulled it all the way over, you see it, it extends past the sole. So I can definitely see that happening. Um, I don't plan to wear it that way. I don't need to make it that tight, but that's definitely something that um, I noticed um, when the question was posed to me. So my initial feedback is they are super comfortable, but they do run small. So I sized up a whole size. I probably could have went up a size and a half, honestly, but um, they definitely run small. Um, and then, of course, the whole Velcro, um, but they still had this, this buckle for decoration. So this top buckle, if they could have still had or added that buckle on the second strap, but, you know, still made it Velcro if they wanted to, or just made it with the two buckles that fasten, but made it this rubber sole, those would have been like fantastic. <laughs> but we don't have that. This is what we have. We have, you know, for the comfort mules, if you want that rubber sole, you'll have to deal with the Velcro, unfortunately. Um, but I do like the shoes and I, I did decide to keep them as you can see. But um, so yeah, that's my update regarding these. So if you were curious, they run very small. I would suggest you size up. If you can, I would suggest you pop in the store and try them on, honestly. Um, before you order, but if not, definitely size up. No matter what you do, you need to size up. And then depending on how tight you make these, this second strap will touch the ground depending on, um, you know, how tight you have it. I can definitely see it scrubbing the ground and, you know, going past the sole. So yeah, so that's my update regarding the Bombdias. 
I've showed you my new Millers that match my beautiful LV uh, Hobo Loop GM bag. <laughs> so yeah, let me know that in the comments. What do you think? Do you purchase Tory Burch? And if you do, what shoes or handbags do you love? I mean, there's several styles from the brand that I absolutely love. So I would love to hear your thoughts as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and until next time, be safe.